This I laid up two days ago. Seems pretty sturdy. One inches. But at the time, I wasn't sure how tall this was. Ooh, that moves really easily. Whoa! Here we are taking down this chimney. Maybe the Egyptians would be proud of us. And maybe we should draw on their inspiration. These brick here have roof cement on them. And they are not coming out so easily. Here we go. We're going to get this one. Yes. So here we are in the middle of a hundred year old, the bowels of a hundred year old chimney. And I'm going down to get some more appropriate tools and unload this load of stuff. I took a couple hours went to home depot they didn't have it went to menards they had one, they had one and uh what i should have done as soon as i noticed it started to tear on one of these sides like this just to go ahead and replace it instead of waiting in the middle of the job now yeah i could have pushed on and then a job that i normally have fun doing i like to do would just be a, a headache so my uh jig to keep this thing suspended up on the roof failed and uh, how i set it up failed so i was able to wrestle this thing into the lift and fortunately the weight of that thing and me did not exceed 500 pounds so it, I was able to get it on the ground um, what is the proper tool to do this I suspect is well you could build up build scaffold all the way up to the top just to put that stone up or one could get a crane or a larger lift I don't trust this is a 660 and I don't trust going out fully extended to put that stone on top so I need a bigger lift or a crane uh, but I think I'm going to make something uh, a synthetic something to put up there unless the insurance company wants to pay for it this is uh some brick mortar that I got quickcrete from one of the big boxes and um, I mean it, it's a no-brainer to, to mix it up you mix it up to where I call I like to call it fluffy so you can have it where it's uh, the consistency is um, too soupy it just pours you can't pick it up with a trowel it'll just run off your trowel and so obviously you need it thicker than that and but 
as thick as you can get it without it running off your trowel. There's a, a place where it, it comes to where it's sort of like, uh, it, I call it fluffy, or, or it's alive. It's not heavy and uh, difficult to pick up, but it's, uh, it's alive. And I know that doesn't say much. Now there's people that do this professionally all day long and they're a hundred times better than I am. But what I'm trying to do here is put together a, uh, a set of skills to where I'm only, I wouldn't say I'm an expert but I'm proficient enough to do uh, small amounts or, you know, amounts that are part of a job that is, has a lot or a number of skills. But what I'm doing is bringing a set of five or six skills to a job so that I'm competitive with a person having to go out and get, for instance, a mason and then a sheet metal worker and then a carpenter, rough carpenter, framing carpenter, finished carpenter, then get a painter, uh, a plaster, a stuccoer. Uh, so the goal here isn't for me particularly to teach you to be an expert in in uh, masonry, in, in bricklaying, but just to give you a sense of the skills and maybe a little bit about them so that you could put together a package that is worth more than just going out see now this is this is alive now one of the things um, let me show you this is this is my bragging trowel it has leather, but see there's wood, and that's a little ingrain plug. I don't know, there's something about beating on a brick with a wooden end, and I don't know, this seems like a piece of art. It needs to be oiled or something. And the, this is my go-to every day. You can see I was using it for this job. It's not all that clean. Uh, trowel so you pick up a loaf and I'll show you what to do with the loaf and some guys have forearms that are as big as my legs and they can use a much bigger trowel and pick up much more mortar than I can um, but my goal here isn't to be a super practiced bricklayer. It's just enough to be proficient to get some jobs done. So I'm also using a brick hammer. This is a heavier one. And with this, with these older brick, you can just cut them right in half or cut them down. Um, maybe I'll get a chance to do that. You just hit it and, and it, oddly enough, chips off. Here's a margin trowel. And then <clears throat> when I have to go back and fill in something, I use tuck pointing skills. I'll demonstrate that. And then a tool to make the joint, uh, I don't know, sealed. You strike the joint, they call it. But, you know, I'm not up on 
all the perfect lingo. Like I say, I'm here to be proficient and to demonstrate to you uh, what some of those skills could be. And maybe you could learn a little something, but an expert is not going to learn anything from me. So let's go up and oh but those are brick tongs these things are invaluable you could just pick up uh eight brick or however however you have this this thing set up and move around eight brick at a time it is really handy and my crick level but i'll I'll break that out in a minute. We are up in our nest and I set the first brick and then proceeded to drop my little torpedo level down there somewhere that I used to make it level both ways. And so now I'll build, I'll put a piece here I'll pick one that has a good side here and here and then use my trick level to get it um, as level as possible it's going to go here All right See, pick the best two sides. You don't have to worry about that with new construction. But this stuff you do. And these brick are abs absorptive, are the, and there's no holes. Uh, on my first job, which was my chimney, I soaked these in water because I was having such a problem. And back then there was no internet. So if you build up, A ridge like this I'm also gonna put a little mortar on the back side when I jam the next actually it should be beveled the other way I'll sh show you why later so we'll put this here and I have my crick level stainless steel edges mahogany with uh, maple inside look at that that's just about perfect but I want to put this down a little bit now this is gonna be a pretty pretty wide joint let's see if I can bring this down some yeah we're just gonna live with a pretty wide joint here now I'm doing everything I possible to see this gets so it's not plastic anymore and as, as I said I'm doing everything possible to not get mortar on the face of the brick to avoid a big cleanup job. This chimney has been hit before and you can see this is a, a unusually large opening here but I only have to match that so there's only a couple more rows to go and uh, I'm already trying to bring this in a little because you see this it came out but there's so much hardened mortar in there that um, I just didn't plan on bringing a jackhammer up here this mortar that we're using here is probably close to 2,000 pounds a square inch it'll support which is way higher than what they had done before but somebody used that kind of that quality mortar and so it's really difficult to get in here 
and move anything but the old stuff is just sand so this uh, the previous mortar they didn't have cement or they, uh, well they did but they didn't use much of it it was a lime rich mortar and of course it's decomposed over time so this stuff is way harder I mean if you think 2,000 pounds a square inch uh, means you could put a car on every square inch of, of space on a brick. So a three times a 24 square inch brick, you could put 20 cars on it. So I'm this is just something I kind of made up to make this. So I have that one angling up and this this one kind of angling down. Right? So when I put them together, they sort of they sort of smash. See this when I tap it on the level it uh, it makes the brick level this way as well. Then once in a while, I check. Holy cow! Can I get it in here? I check going straight up and down. But right now I'm just gonna use my I have so many so little left. I'm just gonna eyeball that. And if you wait a while, if you just scrape this and and it hasn't taken an issue while it's still wet, it's gonna it's gonna put a streak. See how that is down there? It's going to put a streak on the front of this bricks. But if we wait a while uh, and it gets drier, uh, we'll be able to just slice it right off. Okay, now let's go back over on that side and put that brick and then fill it in so you can uh, now see i'm going to take this off and it doesn't smear across the face and uh and then soon after that we'll want to strike Soon after that, we'll want to strike the joint. Now, see, there's some gaps there. So, I'm going to use my tuck pointing skills to fill in those gaps. I'll wait till I get some more gaps. <laughs> 